Hello folks, my name is Paul Soares Jr. and welcome to my Minecraft video. This is going to be a tutorial to show you how to download and install the Minecraft demo, which is a free download. And once we get it installed on your computer, we'll run it and then I'll give you a very quick basic guide to get you started in the game right away. So let's jump right in and get going. Okay, first things first, we have to go and download the Minecraft demo. So go ahead and run your Internet Explorer browser or Firefox or whatever web browser you use and head to Google and type in Minecraft demo and hit enter or click search and it should be right here one of the top links. Make sure that it says www.pcgamer.com. Now the Minecraft demo is hosted by PC Gamer. It was a collaboration between Mojang, the developers of Minecraft, and PC Gamer. Um, came out in April of 19th, oh, right here, April of April 19th, 2011, that is. And make sure that this is the download link because there are scammers out there that'll try to get you to download a virus or a hacked version of Minecraft, and we definitely do not want to do that. So take a look at this be aware of where you're downloading from this is the safe one and then go ahead and click on the link and you should see this web page again it's the legitimate website is PC Gamer and you should see a cow here with the PC Gamer logo and right down here says download the Minecraft demo give that a click and then save the file to your computer now keep an eye on where it's gonna go Mine goes to my downloads folder, and I'm just going to hit save, keep the default name, and click on save. It's not a very big file, it's only 4 megabytes, it should only take a few seconds. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and run that program. This is an executable, it'll install Minecraft. Double click on it, and then click run. Now you will probably get asked here by your browser whether or not you want to continue. This is a safety precaution. Again, if you downloaded the right demo from PC Gamer, you should be fine. And now I'm using Windows 7 and Windows 7 says, hold on, you downloaded this from the internet. Do you really want to do this? Well, I'm pretty sure this is safe. So I'm going to hit yes. I can close all this stuff down now move you over here and then go ahead and click on install now it's going to default to program files minecraft pc gamer demo which is perfectly fine you can change it if you would like and just click next i want to create a desktop icon next and then finally install now let's go ahead and launch minecraft pc gamer demo I want you over here, you silly little window. And let's expand it out so we can see a bit more. Okay. So here we are looking at the PC Gamer Minecraft World Exclusive Demo. Okay, before we jump into the game, let's take a look at the options. So click on the Options button, and here you have the volume controls. I'm going to turn down the music to about 10% just so it doesn't drown out my commentary. This sound here is the control, the volume control for the sound effects. So um, the animals, the cows, the pigs, and all the noises that they make, your footsteps, chopping tree sounds, etc. will be controlled by that. I'll leave that at 100%. I would leave the mouse sensitivity at 100%. That's the speed of the mouse when you're moving around. In fact, you may want to leave all of these at the defaults for now. Uh, personally, I like to play with an inverted mouse, which changes the direction of up and down. And the difficulty here, if you click on difficulty, you can switch between peaceful, which means there will be no monsters in the game. Easy, which means you'll have monsters, but they don't hurt you as badly when they hit you. And I like to play on normal. And it's also hard. So let's let's just jump in with normal for now. Let's take a look at video settings, fancy graphics. We have two options here, fancy and fast. If you're on a slower computer, you'll probably want to go with fast. Fancy graphics looks fantastic, but it might slow down an older PC. 
So I'm going to run fancy. My computer can handle it here. Render distance will show, again, if you're on a slower computer, you may want to drop the render distance down to, say, normal. I'm going to show you the whole kit and caboodle. I'm going to keep it as far for now. And the rest of this, just leave it um, in, at the default settings for the time being. All right, and let's head back. Now here are the controls as well. This is how you move your character in the game. W key goes forward, S key goes back, space bar for jump, drop an item that's in your hand, you would press Q, T for chat if you're a multiplayer, A scroll, it strafes you to the left, D will strafe your character to the right, hold down the shift key to sneak, press E to open inventory, which is odd, I prefer I, and F to toggle the fog. Now the fog basically is the same as the render distance. So if it's running slow in the game, just hit the F key and it'll add fog farther away from you, which will speed things up a bit. Okay, now I think we're ready. Let's go back to the main screen and let's hop in. Okay, let's hop into Minecraft and play the demo world. So go ahead and click on Play Demo World. Minecraft will happily generate the level in the background for you. Now, because this is a demo, it's the same world map every single time. Normally, when you create a new world in Minecraft, the purchased game anyway, it's a new dynamic random world every single time. All right, so this tells us here we have five in-game days of time to play, which is the equivalent of one hour and 40 minutes of real time. That should give you enough time to determine whether or not this game is for you. So, and if it is, I recommend heading over, click on Purchase Now, which should bring you to Minecraft.net and buy the game. All right, click on Continue Playing, and let's jump right in. Now, keep in mind, this is a quick start guide. This game is absolutely enormous. There's a lot to do in Minecraft. I couldn't possibly explain everything in five minutes or even 50 minutes. So if you're interested in learning more than I can teach you here, head over to my channel, and I'll put a link in the description of this video. And I have an entire tutorial series called How to Survive and Thrive. And uh, I'll bring you right through the basics and slowly um, show you more advanced topics as time goes on. Anyway, let's get started. I just saw some squids out there swimming around. Cool. So, as you can see, um, it's a 3D world. Everything is very blocky. In fact, everything is made of blocks. Um, and I'm just using my mouse here to look around, just like I explained in the beginning. Just moving around, left and right, up and down. And if you want to move forward, you press the W key. S for backwards. A scrolls, uh, strafes to the uh, left. And D strafes to the right and jump is the space bar. So let's go over here and take a look at this chest. I'm going to hop up and read the sign. It says, have some stuff. Care of PC Gamer. Right click to open. All right. Right click means point to this chest and right click with the right mouse button. And that opens up this chest. And as you can see, PC Gamer has left some stuff here for us. Thank you. So I'm going to click on an item and pick it up and then drag it down into my inventory and drop it. I want to put stuff that I can use in my hands in this lower row here, and that way I can put it in my hand and utilize it. So these are torches. I'm just going to grab everything and just drop it in. I'm not going to put the sticks in my hand, but I will put some bread down here. Grab that iron axe. I can use that and put some more bread here. String, a compass, more bread. Bread is used to heal when you get hurt. You eat it and you can heal yourself up. All right, I'm going to press I and close the inventory window down again. So now back in the world. And as you can see, I, ha I now have an axe in my hand. When I left click, I swing my axe. I can scroll through the things that I can put in my hand. This is called a hot bar down here. Scroll with the mouse wheel. Or you can press the corresponding number on a keyboard, on your keyboard. This is one, two, three, four, and so on. And I'm going to put my axe in my hand, and we're going to go chop some wood. Okay, so with axe in hand, let's walk up to a tree. This is a tree. And hold the left mouse button down. First, you want to point to the, the tree trunk. Hold the left mouse, mouse, mouse button down. And as you can see, I'm chopping through the wood. And it's dropping as I chop up that tree trunk. Little blocks of wood falls off. And now I have right here, I'll scroll over to it. This is chunks of tree trunk. Now let's go grab a little bit more. I'm going to go over to this one. Chop, chop. Now I've got seven pieces of tree trunk. 
this tree here is birch. If I wanted to get birch, I could chop, chop up some birch tree. Now I have nine pieces of tree trunk. There's not much I can do with tree trunk. So I'm going to bring up my inventory by pressing I. And we're going to have to break this wood down into something more usable. So pick up your stack of wood by left clicking on it. Drop it into your crafting area. This is the crafting area right here. And we could do some limiting, limited crafting in here, but we're going to have to build a work bench or rather a crafting table um, to do more crafting. And that's what we're going to do right now. So anyway, drop your wood into your crafting area. And you'll see here that wood in the crafting area can be converted into wood planks. And we're going to grab all these wooden planks just by clicking. Just keep clicking that until all the tree trunk is gone. And now we have wooden planks. All right. So now we're going to take our wooden planks. We're going to click on that. And we're going to right click one here, right click there, right click, right click. And four wooden planks like so will build a crafting table. And now we're going to take that crafting table, put it in our hand. Press I to close that window down. And then scroll over to our crafting table, which is now in my hand. And we're going to drop it on the ground. Actually going to place it on the ground. We can throw it too, but we don't want to do it. We want to place it. And to place things in the world, you want to point to where you want to put it down. I'm going to put it right here on this square. And I'm going to right click the mouse button. And now it's placed in the world, as you can see. So now I'm going to right click on the crafting table. And now I have a much larger area for crafting. So what we want to do next is take these wooden planks. We're going to break these down into sticks because I want to make a tool. I want to make a shovel. So we'll put the wood planks in here. And I'm going to right click on that stack and put wood planks above. So two planks outlaid like this equals sticks. And I'm just going to make a few sticks. That's enough. Put my wood planks back here. And now I'm going to grab these sticks and I'm going to make a handle. Again, I'm just right clicking to split the stack. So that's the handle. And I'm going to take wooden planks. And I'm going to drop the planks in here. And now I have a wooden shovel. Take the shovel, put it down here in my hotbar. And now I'm going to put all this stuff back in my inventory, which I don't need right now any, any longer. And press escape or hit I, and I'm back into the world. And now I have a shovel in my hands. Shovel is used for digging. And hey, a little bunch of piggies over there. And to dig, you just find something that you can dig. And, and you can dig in dirt, obviously, in gravel and sand. This is dirt. And I'm just going to hold the left mouse button, just like you did with the tree. Hold the left mouse button. And we break the block. Press the I, and I should have dirt in my inventory. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of my inventory so I can put the dirt here. OK, so now let's go over to the dirt. And I'll show you what you can do when you break the blocks up. You can build stuff. Now, gravity works a little bit oddly in Minecraft. But as you can see, I've just built a little, well, it looks like a backwards um, upside down L. <laughs> or something. And that's what you can do. And I can break up more. I can dig down even a little bit deeper if I'd like. And then I can collect all those resources. And I can continue to build. Now I can put wood up there if I wanted to. Let's say I wanted to put some wooden planks. I can attach wooden planks to dirt. I can make myself a little shelter. And in fact, that is something you're going to want to do very quickly in this game because what's going to happen is that sun is dropping and it's going to get dark and when it gets dark monsters come out so you want to be somewhere indoors you want to have a little shelter a little safety zone here so no monsters can get you now this isn't much of a shelter so normally in my first day I just make a shovel and I head underground I just dig a little what I call hidey hole Just keep digging in, digging in. Now, fortunately, PC Gamer left us some torches, and we can just place those up on the wall with a right click, and that provides us with some light. Now, notice my shovel is degrading. And as the more you dig, the more you use it, it'll slowly degrade. Wooden tools don't last very long. Now, this tool is an iron pick, and I can use this to bust up the stone, to mine this. This is stone. So now I have a little hidey hole, and I should be relatively safe for the night in here. 
Okay, well that's pretty much the basics. You should be able to get started. Um, showed you how to move around, how to chop, how to collect blocks, how to place blocks. And um, the rest is up to you to discover on your own. You've got an hour and 40 minutes per map. And in fact, let's, let's get out of here. Let's load up the map again. If you hit escape, you'll see here, you can go back to the game or you can save and quit. I'm gonna save and quit. And you've got a new option here that says reset demo world. If I hit, click on that, it goes back. It will wipe out that world and it will be a whole new world again. It's going to be the same demo world every time, but if I want to go back and play that same one, click on that and it will put me back where I was and everything remains the same. All right, so let's um, let's do one more thing for the night. Now the sun is dropping. It's going to be dark here soon. I'm going to make a weapon to defend myself. So let's throw the sticks in here in this cobblestone that I've mined with the pick. It's going to come in handy because I can make a stone sword. Stone sword, stone tools and weapons are better than wooden tools and weapons because they don't degrade as quickly. So let's put that stuff away and as you can see, shadows are starting to surround me. The sun is dipping behind the horizon and it's getting dark. Very soon we'll have skeletons, zombies, spiders, creepers, and so forth out on the hunt for me to eat. So I'm going to go in my hidey hole here and I'm going to call it a day. And let's block this off. I can put this up here like so. And you can make a door with wood if you want. Where are my torches? I'm going to put up a, another torch just to have a little bit more light in here. Not that I need it. I'm pretty well safe in here. And uh, I'm good for the night. So then when the sun comes back up, I can bust my way out of here and go explore and build and collect resources and find some animals and make leather armor and uh, maybe find a cave and go explore a cave. There's a lot to do in Minecraft. And again, an hour and 40 minutes should be plenty of time for you to figure out if you like this game or not. And uh, if you want to watch videos before you make a decision, head on over to my channel. I've got a lot of videos. I've got multiplayer videos. Um, I've got custom map videos and I've got the tutorials as well. And if you do decide to buy the game, head over to Minecraft.net, make the purchase. And if you need further help, um, again, I have the tutorials to help you. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video and if it does help you, please click on the like, leave me a comment and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I do hope that uh, I, I see you in the community out there someday. Um, and if you do see me out there, give me a holler. Tell me you saw this video. I'll see you then, hopefully. Take care. Bye-bye.